We are accustomed quite well to thinking that the events described in the Bible, and especially in the Old Testament, date back to an epoch so distant that it can hardly be called historical in the usual sense. We seem to know everything there is to know about these times and these characters, in particular that most of them date to epochs preceding the New Era by a couple of millennia, and that the events described in the Bible took place in and around the Middle East for the most part. Could all of what we know be untrue? Even the most scrupulous of scientists who ever had to tackle the gigantic array of data contained in the Bible were basing their research on the existing chronology. The sole exception to this is a group of mathematicians who have used the newest statistical methods to analyze the Bible from an altogether different standpoint, having revised the consensual chronology completely prior to that. The results are astonishing to say the least. We learn that the Biblical Jerusalem was in fact located on the Bosporus and known as Constantinople and that the Biblical kingdoms of Israel and Judah can be identified as the medieval Roman Empire. The familiar characters transform into the medieval doppelgangers which are a lot less familiar to us but known quite well to historians. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. Is it possible that ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during Renaissance? Can it be that Jesus Christ was born in 1053 AD and crucified in 1086 AD? History, fiction or science? Describes how the contemporary chronological scale was created and by whom? With the culprits named as the 16th-17th century clergy, The well-known model of history has enjoyed the relentless attention of prominent critics ever since its creation including respected people like Sir Isaac Newton and Jean Hardouin, the court librarian of Louis XIV, the Sun King of France. Roman and Egyptian chronology take a good beating. Paggio Bracciolini and Petrarch take the blame for creating the beautiful legend of a mythical classical age that never was. The biblical events are brought a lot closer to us both historically and geographically. The biblical Jerusalem is actually the medieval city of Constantinople. The New and the Old Testaments swap their positions in chronological order and are shown to refer to medieval events. Using astronomy and statistics to back his theories, Fomenko delivers an abundant astronomical proof showing that the identified dates of ancient eclipses are blatantly untrue. Fomenko explains the confusion between the antiquity and the Middle Ages, and how the division between the two is merely imaginary. The book contains in-depth descriptions of the research methods used as well as the most meticulous rendition of the global chronological map with its numerous errors and glitches explained in a very level-headed manner. One doesn't have to be a mathematician to comprehend Fomenko's presentation. History, fiction or science? Transforms history from fiction into a rocket science. It is a must-read for everyone who isn't entirely indifferent to human history and possibly also for those who are.
we shall never know just how many historical documents are in fact counterfeit. History in general goes hand in hand with the history of forgeries. Countless chronicles as well as works of art and literature have been considered authentic for centuries before becoming denounced as counterfeit.